everyone, it's Carissa Wiley here for Concord and Ninth. Thanks for joining me today. I am absolutely giddy about the brand new Our House stamp set, dies, and embossing folder from Concord and Ninth. This set is perfect for creating adorable house scenes for celebrations throughout the year. This is a big bundle, but boy, can you do so much with it. And so we're going to break down this bundle and have a look at each of the individual items in it. Now, first up is the Our House die set, and you can see these are the base pieces that create your house shape as well as your roof pieces and all of the accessories that go on the outside of your house, including an adorable banner, some light strands for the holidays, some balloons. There's also some die cut sentiments and things that are going to carry you from season to season. There's a lot of ways that you can use this. Now, in addition to this base set, Concord and Ninth has also released the Our House Extras dies. This die set includes extras of some of the dies that are already in the Our House die set so that you can die cut several windows and several shutters all at once. So you can see the windows match, but now you can die cut three at a time. There's also some additional greenery pieces to make your die cutting go quicker. The Our House embossing folder is a 2D embossing folder that will add some dimensional embellishments to your die cut pieces. And finally, the Our House stamp set includes some sentiments that coordinate with the various banners included in the die set, as well as some detail pieces like these little bricks. And I'll show you how to use those in just a moment. Now let's have a look at all of these pieces die cut. I have my house base piece as well as the roof line and the two shingled or scalloped roof pieces. And this kind of builds the base of the house. Then you have all of your detail pieces included in the die set. All of these are a part of the Our House die set here. So you get all of these options in this large die set. There are a couple of different door options as well as some panels to create some dimension on your doors, some window boxes, some balloons. These are some trim pieces. There are also two window options, a square or rectangle window, also an arched window. There's some greenery and you really can decorate this house for various seasons throughout the year. And excuse me while I drop my die cuts. <laughs> Now there are single window dies included in the Our House die set, but if you wanna die cut several windows at once, you can pick up the Our House Extras die set to allow you to create several windows at once and a couple different greenery pieces at the same time as well. Let me show you how easily this house comes together. I have my base piece as well as my roof line and my two roof scallop pieces. Now I'm taking these two gray scallop pieces that line up with my roof and I'm nestling them into the embossing folder. This is going to give the roof a little bit of texture. Now keep in mind the embossing folder is optional, but I think the detail that it adds to the die cuts is so worth it in the end. I'm lining it up with that little etched marking that's inside of the embossing folder. The little scallops on the bottom and the edges will line up with that pattern. And then I'm closing my embossing folder and I'll run it through my die cutting machine using my 2D embossing folder sandwich. So you'll wanna check your manufacturer instructions for using a 2D embossing folder with your die cutting machine. Here, I'm just running it through my Platinum 6. And when I take these out, you can see I have that great embossed pattern on my roof pieces. Now I have the same exact embossing folder and the base piece of my house. And I'm going to line this up in this embossing folder as well. But this time I'm lining it up with the little registration marks that are at the bottom of the embossing folder. I'm checking to make sure that both of the bottom corners line up with the registration marks. And then I'm not worrying about where the roof line lines up. Don't worry about that. Just make sure the bottom lines up with those registration marks. And then you can run that through your die cutting machine to add texture to this house. You're gonna see when I remove it from the embossing folder, I have all of these great little brick raised texture areas that I can then leave as they are, or we can add even more detail by stamping them with the coordinating stamps from the stamp set. 
Now I like to do this in a tone on tone stamping. So I've die cut my base piece from Pebble cardstock and I'm using some Pebble ink and I'm taking the brick stamps included in the Our House stamp set and I'm stamping right over the areas where this double brick pattern lines up. I'm just looking through my clear block and just making sure that I line up the stamp with the raised areas that the embossing folder created. Now this step, as I mentioned, is completely optional, but it's going to add just even more dimension and texture to this card front. So now I have the single brick stamp here and I'm stamping over the areas where there are single bricks. And I'm gonna continue this process until I've stamped over all of the raised brick areas that the embossing folder created. Once I've done my stamping, I can go ahead and adhere my scalloped roof pieces onto my base piece. I'm just using a little tape runner adhesive on the back of these pieces. And I'll line up that scalloped edge with the edge of my card that has the scallop. And then I'll make sure the top border is kind of lined up with the top of my base piece as well. So again, just adding some tape runner adhesive, you could use liquid glue and making sure all of those edges are aligned, the top edge, the side edge, and the little scallop along the bottom. It's very easy to kind of line these up and get them into place. You can see all of these edges align. Now, once these two roof pieces are in place, I'm going to take the roof line and I'm going to add some tape runner adhesive to the back of that, avoiding the peak because the peak will stick out over the top of this base piece. And I'm going to adhere it just to kind of line up with where those roof pieces meet. And you can see the base of my house is put together and it's ready for all of the accessories. Now, if you wanna create a shaped card from this piece, you just die cut an additional layer of the base piece, and then you can score either across the top to create a top folding card or along the side to create a side folding card. So I have an additional base layer here and I'm placing this into my scoreboard and I'm going to score at the half inch mark. This is going to create a top folding shaped house card, which I think is so much fun. Once I've created my score line, I'm gonna fold back and forth on that score line to make sure that this will really move. Then I can place some adhesive above the score line to adhere this base piece to the front of my card that I've already created. I'm just going to remove the backer, line those up and press along the top where that adhesive is. And now I have a house shaped card that is top folding. Now, if you fold along the side instead, you'll create a side folding card. So let's have a look at a couple of cards that I created using this Our House stamp, die, and embossing folder bundle. I have this adorable card. It reminds me of the movie Up, even though I've never seen it. <laughs> And you can see I've added the windows, some clusters of balloons, as well as a banner with that stamped sentiment celebrate from the coordinating stamp set. I also have additional pieces on the door to create that dimensional effect. And you can see I've added a couple of potted greenery topiaries outside of my front door. Now I couldn't resist making a holiday card with this bundle. You can see these light strands are so much fun. They fit perfectly along that roof line and I've created a large wreath for the front of my house as well with that joy sentiment. You can see this is actually a shaped card but it has a side fold instead of a top fold. And I absolutely love all the detail pieces like the trim pieces included in this die set as well as that chimney that's on top of this house as well. This set makes me absolutely giddy. It is so much fun to create with because there are so many options for creating these adorable houses for celebrations throughout the year. And I just know you're going to come up with some fabulous card designs using the brand new Our House bundle from Concord and Knight.